Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010, User Guide Lesson 10, Word Art. In this video, I'll be covering how to create and edit Word Art. Today we're going to be talking about Word Art. And Word Art is really kind of a hybrid of text and drawn objects. It's great to be used for logos, ads, and headings. And what's nice about Word Art is that you're able to format it much like you would a graphic. So the first thing I want to cover is how to create Word Art. So to create Word Art, you're going to go up to the Insert tab, then you're going to come over to Word Art, click it, and you'll see a menu drops down of preset um, Word Art creations. So what you're going to do is select which Word Art appeals to you, and click it, and you'll see that a sample box of Word Art pops up. To customize your Word Art, all you need to do is add your text. So you can just start typing, and your text will take the form of your word art. And if you decide that you don't like the word art style that you've selected, all you need to do is go to Format, come to the word art styles, click this drop down menu. You'll again see your preset menu of word art, and you can just select a different style of word art. So one of the great things about word art is how easily it can be edited. So you can add additional text, or if you decide that you don't like text, you can just easily backspace it just like you would any normal text. So you can also change the formatting of your word art and you can just do this on the home tab. And you can just highlight what you want to change, click home, and you can change the font that you use in your word art. You can change the size of your word art. Um, you can make it bold, you can make it italicized, you can underline it, and you can also change the color of your word art, all just like normal text. Now you can also change the fill, outline, and text effects of your word art. And this is really easy to do. All you need to do is come up to the Format tab and come over to this Word Art Styles area. And this is where you can change the text fill of your word art. So you can change what color is inside your word art. And you can also come and click Text Outline to change the outline of your word art. That's very easy. And one of the most important sections would be text effects. So this section is where you can really customize your word art. So you have the option of adding shadows, uh, reflection, glow, bevel, or 3D rotation. And transforms are a really great tool for you to use. This is where you can change how your text box is laid out. So you can change a different swoop to it. Um, your word will be in circles. There's really some interesting options. Another thing that you can easily change about your word art is your text direction. So to do this, you're just going to select your word art, come up to format, and come over to text direction. So it starts out horizontal, but if you want to um, rotate it 90 degrees or 270 degrees for it to be vertical, you can do so easily just by clicking um, the button. And you can also change the text alignment by coming up to align text, and that means you can change it from um, left, center, or right alignment. You can also change the text wrap of your word art. The text wrap setting for word art is automatically word art above text, um, but you can easily change that just by coming over to the format tab and clicking wrap text, and you can change your text wrap um, to whatever you want. You can do it square, you can do it tight, um, you can do it behind the text or in front of the text, and it's just the same as you would with any other object. The last thing I want to talk about for Word Art is how seamlessly integrated it is in Word 2010. One of the best things about Word Art in 2010 is that you're now able to use Word Art features on regular text. So you don't have to have a whole separate Word Art text box if you just want to use some of the features of Word Art. So to show you how to do that, I'm going to highlight some text. And what you're going to want to do is come up to your home tab and you're just going to click this text effects button which basically allows you to so this allows you to choose some presets of the word art and you can just select it and in this area too you also have the majority of your word art effects the only ones that you're not able to use here are the transform 3d rotation and bevel but other than that you still have all the use of your Word Art Effects without having to have it in a separate box. So if you just want to use this for some headings or just a, a specific piece of chunk but you don't want to make it a separate part of your document, Word 2010 lets you be very flexible with the features of Word Art. And so it's definitely something that you want to keep in mind and be able to use. 
Thank you for joining Nextire TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 10 Word Art. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextire.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/nextire.